secretion. Hypo or hyper secretion of thyroid hormone can lead to various disorders. These are cretinism, myxedema, Graves disease and oil. Let us discuss hypothyroidism first. It is a clinical syndrome caused by low level of circulating thyroid hormones. Depending upon the age at which deficiency manifests, duration and severity of the disease, there are two clinical entities. First is infantile hypothyroidism that is cretinism and adult hypothyroidism that is myxedema. This is the photograph of cretinism. Hyposecretion of thyroid hormone occurs during the first year of the life which can be due to maternal iodine deficiency, maternal antithyroid antibodies, fetal thyroid dysgenesis, inborn error of metabolism or fetal hypopituitary hypothyroidism. Clinical features are poor retarded growth. Skeletal growth is more affected than soft tissue growth resulting in stunted growth. Idiotic look, dropping of saliva at the angle of mouth, flat nose, enlarged tongue which may obstruct airways causes guttural breathing, port belly appearance and protruding of umbilicus sparse hair and dry skin and failure of sexual development. In the developing child, milestones are delayed. If not treated early, the child become mentally retarded because of thyroid hormone is required for growth, myelination and branching of neuronal cells of central nervous system. This is the photograph of hypothyroidism in adult that is myxedema. Clinical features are puffiness of face with periorbital swelling which is due to increase in hyaluronic acid and chondroitin sulfate bound with protein result in excessive tissue gel. Non-pitting edema in extremities, dry, rough, coarse skin that is a toad skin and sparse hair, hoarseness of voice. Other general features are tiredness and weight gain without an appropriate increase in calorie intake, decrease in heat production, cold intolerance, cardiovascular features like bradycardia, hypertension, Neuromuscular features like movement, speech and thoughts are slowed and lethargy, sleepiness, delayed reaction of ankle jerk, pressure palsy of peripheral nerves may cause carpal tunnel syndrome due to enlargement in excess ground substance, reproductive features like menorrhagia and infertility, gastrointestinal features like constipation, Hematological features like anemia and goiter may occur. Now let us discuss hyperthyroidism. This is the photograph of Graves disease. It is hypersecretion of thyroid hormones. General features like marked increase in basal metabolic rate, weight loss, increase in food intake, increase heat production and heat intolerance excessive sweating, goiter, diffuse goiter may be found, cardiovascular features like increase in pulse rate, arrhythmia, exertional dyspnea, arrhythmia may lead to high output cardiac failure, different neuromuscular features like nervousness, irritability, restlessness, tremors of hand, thyrotoxic myopathy, Easy fatigability may occur, gastrointestinal features like diarrhea, dermatological features like loss of hair, warm, moist and soft skin, reproductive features like impotence in male and oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea in females, female may complain of frequent abortions. 
ophthalmologic signs like lead retraction staring look lead lag wide palpebral fissures and exophthalmus that is bulging out of the eyeball it is due to swelling of the retrobulbar tissue and degeneration of extraocular muscles exophthalmus are indicated by visibility of sclera between the lower lid and cornea patient is prone because of all this for corneal ulceration now let us discuss goiter goiter refers to any abnormal increase in the size of thyroid gland this photograph shows enlarged thyroid gland it may be associated with euthyroid hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism in euthyroid the thyroid hormone secretions are normal in hypothyroidism there is a low thyroid hormone level which can be because of goitrogens which block one or more reaction in synthesis of thyroid hormones or endemic goiter where decrease in iodine intake decreases synthesis and secretion of thyroid hormone which result in increase in the tsh release and causes proliferation of the thyroid gland which leads to enlargement of the thyroid gland now hyperthyroidism and goiter it is autoimmune disease where there is a development of thyroid stimulating antibodies against tsh receptors they bind with tsh receptors and mimic the action of tsh known as long acting thyroid stimulator thus entire thyroid gland undergoes hyperplasia as a result of autoimmune stimulation result in diffuse goiter